What's up everyone, this is Jaxwell from Windows Phone Hacker and today I'm going to show you how to get Wi-Fi sharing on your Samsung Mango device. Um, so obviously you'll need Mango installed and your device needs to be uh, interop unlocked so you'll need a regular unlock device plus the sideload limit set up. If you're not familiar on how to do that, I'll of course put a link in the description on how to do that. And uh, you'll also need two zap files deployed to your phone. The first one is Marvin S. and Contable's Diag Prov XML tool. Uh, the latest version has the internet sharing already built in, so that makes it nice and easy. And uh, the next thing you'll need is Liquid Perfection's um, Samsung tools. And I'll have the links for both of these in the description. The first one is what you need for internet sharing, and the second one is just to fix your settings after you set up internet sharing. So I have these both downloaded, so I'll go ahead and show you uh, real quick on how I'm going to do this. All right, so the first thing to do is to get your phone hooked up to your computer, like so. And then you'll need to deploy. I'm going to use the uh, official application deployment tool just because I have the SDK. If you don't, you can use some of the homebrew deployment tools. Those work just as well. And I'm going to, oops, I'm going to deploy first the Samsung tools uh, and get that installed. And that should that shouldn't take too long. And then I'm going to deploy the diagprov XML uh, file. And at this point, you don't really need your computer anymore, so go ahead and disconnect your phone. All right. So first things first, I'm going to go into the diagprov XML program and just swipe over to the left to uh, isolated storage and hold down on internet sharing and tap execute and wait a little bit and it should say prov xml successfully applied and at that point pretty much everything's done but you have to reset your data connection because the way provisioning works it tends to screw up your data settings at least it does for me so head over to samsung tools up oh, Make sure you close out um, the Diagprov XML, by the way. Okay, so now just head over to Samsung Tools. And don't touch any of this other stuff because you could mess up your interop unlock. But just mm -hmm. press Apply Settings, and then it will ask you to reboot. So press OK. And wait for it to restart. Now, when it reboots, it's probably going to have to uh, reset your data connection. And sometimes this is pretty quick. Sometimes it takes a little bit and your phone locks up for a little bit on the home screen. Uh, if it does freeze up, don't worry about it. It's just trying to uh, reconnect with your network. So, I mean, it's no big deal. It should take probably about 30 seconds. And if it screws up, then just uh, run the auto config again. But in my experience, it's, it's been fine. All right, so you can see in the top corner it has the little no connectivity symbol, and uh, that'll change over into the uh, the network bars, of course. And then I'm gonna wait until the 3G symbol comes down, just because otherwise it might freeze up. All right, so there's the 3G symbol right there. So we'll go ahead and unlock it. I don't really care if you know my password. And we'll swipe over into settings. And lo and behold, you have internet sharing right in between accounts and Bluetooth. So I'm going to tap on that. And at this point, it should just work. There we go. If you have a little any issues, you can go ahead and ask me. I have a few quick tricks you can try there if that doesn't work. And as you can see, it has my broadcast name and my password. And we can go into setup to change that stuff. But I'll just leave it as is. And just to test this, I'm going to use this. Uh, HD2 over here that's running Android um, just to make sure the Wi-Fi is working. There's no SIM card in it as you can hopefully see and uh, ooh, well, I'll turn down the brightness of, while I'm at it. Alright, there we go. And I'll go ahead and uh, try to connect to this network. So wireless and networks Wi-Fi settings and there's my focus right there and it says the password is 
Um, Nine four nine five one eight eight one, and obviously that's a random password. You could change it if you wanted. I'll just tap connect and let's see if it works. And over here it says guest connected one, and it says it's, a, ooh, it's obtaining an IP address, and it says it's connected over here. So let's go ahead and just test that theory, and uh, open up the internet browser. And hopefully my carrier won't bill me for this, but uh, who knows. And lo and behold, here's the HTC website loaded off of the hosted internet off of my Samsung Focus. So there you have it. You can pretty easily, that took about, I don't know, less than five minutes to get set up. And you can get internet sharing right on your Samsung Focus and connect uh, between three and five devices off of your Windows Phone 7. So if you like the video, feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. But other than that, thanks for watching.